We have passed an important new milestone in the development of Virgin Galactic. We have successfully conducted the first tests of the rocket motor. Now, now I feel like we're going. Now, now I'm ready to go. The acceleration of when it burnt was uh, pretty awesome. If we can get robust, safe, and more importantly, environmentally benign and very cheap access to space, we can do things up there that were never imagined a few years ago. It's pretty exciting to see something like this kind of come to fruition. This rocket motor burns for a very short period of time because we launch our spaceship from a high altitude aircraft at the outer limits of the atmosphere rather than from ground level. This means much less fuel is required, fuel which provides none of the toxins that are present in the solid rockets used by the space shuttle and satellite launches. Less fuel and clean fuel all adds up to a space launch system which will be completely unprecedented in its low environmental impact. We can put server farms in space. We can run our agricultural system from space. We can provide solar power from space. Our new rocket motor is extremely powerful. In fact, it is the largest nitrous oxide hybrid system ever produced, and it will provide a pretty exciting ride. For our application, we obviously want the motor to run as smooth as possible for uh, just to make a consistent, smooth ride for the, for the passengers. It's going to be an awesome ride, the, uh, the buzz and the, um, the vibration, and we were, you know, three-tenths of a mile away. My initial reaction is now, now I know we're going. Now I genuinely believe that we're going. Um, the whole process has been a series of stages of milestones towards space, and that's the most important one. The world scientific community is united in recognising that making better use of space will be vital to mankind's ability to manage the huge future challenges of life back here on Earth.